An employee tests positive for COVID, the state sends out health officials to their workplace to minimize the spread to coworkers and customers. Anchor Doug Fernandez went through the list of businesses and found so far this month, more than 750 companies had an employee test positive. Nearly 100 of those were at restaurants. Texas Roadhouse owner Jay Berman says he is doing everything possible to minimize the spread of COVID-19 to employees and customers. This is what all of our employees wear all the time. Um, every employee that comes to work, we have to take their temperature. They have an electronic survey. They have to show us this, this green check mark or a red X that shows that they are excluded from work for whatever reason. Three of his workers were experiencing symptoms and got tested. They had COVID-19. And with each of them, the restaurant had to be fully cleaned. Look, let's face it, none of us want to be involved in that where, we're, where we have employees that are spreading the virus. Texas Roadhouse is not alone. Target 7 examined the list of businesses the state publishes on its website and found so far this month, 111 workers from 95 restaurants have tested positive. These include drive throughs dine-ins, and pizza delivery. They had to have gotten it from somewhere else because there's only one employee that got it. White says the data shows restaurants are not spreading the disease. Our restaurants are, are taking this very seriously. We have heightened protocols for, um, for cleaning, for sanitizing. 18 McDonald's in the state have had positive cases. We reached out to the corporate office and the spokesperson tells us crew and managers are at the heart and soul of the restaurants in which they work and their safety and well-being is a top priority that guides our decision making. Since COVID-19 began impacting the U.S., McDonald's USA has updated nearly 50 processes to help franchisees keep their restaurant employees and customers safe. And that was Doug reporting there. Tonight on Action 7 News at 5, Dr. Ramo explains if you're likely to catch COVID from a restaurant worker. The New Mexico...